Okay, let me uh, tell you what I'm doing there. I'm taking very simple guitar chords and um, I'm playing a bass note and I'm moving the chords. So for example, let's say I take A minor to G. Right? There's a lot of ways we can do that. A regular guy might just go. That's one way, but there's other ways. Watch. I'll take the high notes first, keep the A in the bass. that then I'll go up the chord and hit the uh, next two lower notes then I'll hit the next two then the next two so we got cool stuff huh I'll take an A and throw a pedal pedal low pedal and play off uh, some uh, double stops Bass note. Cool stuff, huh? Anyway, I was going to sit here and try to play a song, but my dog is flipping out over there. He's rolling around making noise. So maybe uh, I'll, th I'll throw out some ideas. Hopefully you get something. And then I'll let you meet my pooch. Come here, Duke. Say hi to Duke. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. Come on. Come over here. Up. You want to say hi? Up. Up. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. All right, you're the love of my life. All right, let me go back to what I was doing and um, go lay down and we'll come back. We'll come back to you, Duke, don't worry. Tonic forts. I like doing uh, arpeggios too. Good stuff to practice on the guitar. Let's say we take an E chord, for example. Might be a little out of tune, but hey, what the hell? 
close enough. E, F, G, A, so let's say, let me grab a pick, so let's say for fun, you know, I'm all about like just having fun, I don't know, I'm not sitting here trying to go nuts, I'm just sitting here trying to pass the time with uh, things I like doing playing guitar you know the goal for me right now is just to uh, connect with the instrument and um, get my playing up to some level where I don't have to think about it and then I can hopefully in a best case scenario connect with people but to do that I feel it's very important to um, not have to fight what you're trying to play so I think it's important. Uh, it's like driving a car. If you want to get from point A to point B, you want to make sure you don't run out of gas halfway through the trip. Well, it's the same thing with playing guitar. If you have a lot of gas in your car and you, your trip is five miles and you can do 200, it's always a lot better to have something on tap than it is to stress out everything and not know. It causes a lot of anxiety. So this video is me just kicking back in my dining room and uh, normally I don't talk in my videos but I figure what the hell I'm on well today let you guys get to know me hopefully something uh, I say or play might be useful to you that's the goal I'm not the kind of guy that's gonna sit here and go gee look what I can do there's plenty of people that can do a lot more all right what do we want to do here I love playing chords. To me, chords are everything on the guitar. You notice? Here's a cool trick you might want to try. Let's say you take like a, a simple chord progression A minor to G to F, back to G, or in some cases like you, you know, guys would play A minor to G to F to E, you know. Now, what I'm gonna tell you is this, is that you know more than you think you know. And I, that's a bold statement. I make that statement, but I'm going to back my shit up. I'll show you why. Because if you take your chord and you dissect your chord. three ranges of the chord on the guitar neck. I took the first high strings, and then I played an arpeggio. I'll take the next three, then the next three notes, Now, 
halfway day sum up. That's not, that's not something I pulled out of my ass, okay, man? That's the same shit you got on your guitar. If it's on my guitar, it's on your guitar, okay? Also a thing I like to do is I like to play on one string. I think it's uh, really important for guitar players to learn how to play on one string. And there's a reason for that. First reason is geometrically speaking on the guitar, everything falls into three places. I know you've heard the story that we have five positions and all this crap, and I'm cool with that. But one of the first things I learned when I was a very young kid was if I play on one string or if I play on two strings, everything repeats itself. Okay? I'll give you a perfect example. So, just what I did there is I took the same intervals and it repeats here and it repeats here. So what I did was, is I tripled, three times, I tripled the knowledge that I had before I tried it in the other two places. Think about it for a second. Imagine if, well I don't have bucks, alright, I hope to have bucks someday, but imagine if every time you reached in your wallet, you could triple your income just by paying attention to what you're doing. That's what happens on the guitar. You can do that. <laughs> he's over there licking, he's drinking water. Here's another trick I like to do. Um, for scales and, and for, uh, you know, just sitting around here watching TV and playing on the side, you know. I like to take uh, something like this. Same deal. Now it kind of sounds a little like Paganini or something and Ingve and trust me I've never copied them. I respect them and they're great players but you know I drink my water from the well where it all came from you know. And I don't mean to sound arrogant by saying that but you know everybody has influences and if you listen to what people listen to before they develop you'll find that you know it's all out there you don't have to look for it you know. You want to look for something or you want to find something? That's the $64 million question. I'm looking to find something. I'm not looking to look for stuff, okay? So, um, I don't know, man. I mean, I hope I didn't waste your time by sitting here, you know? I don't feel I did, but, you know, uh, for me to sit here and play something, I have to practice and then hope that I feel inspired when I play. I think it's important to be able to sit down and just hang out if you were at my house or if I was at your house or in your garage or something and we were hanging out talking, that's, that's where I want to keep this right now. Another thing I like to do, I like screwing around with blues. A lot of people think that, you know, that you have to know all these extensions with blues, man. It's pretty simple, you know. If you take the, the tonic of your song, let's say you're in A, and you go up to the B flat, that's your seventh also, so you're like... It's, 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 
it might be hard to try to explain this. Maybe I'll pass on and try and explain this right now. But the important thing is, is, um, is everything you're looking for on the guitar's fingerboard and the neck and you're playing. And I've said this, I'm the only guy that I've heard say this first. And I'm going to say it to you right now. Is everything you're looking to play on your guitar is hidden in plain sight right under your nose. Trust me when I tell you that. It's right here. I got this, my guitar right now sounds exactly like your guitar does sitting in the case. <laughs> you know what I mean? So does Jeff Beck's guitar. So does Eric Clapton's or Joe Bonamassa's or, you know, the, the thing about it is, 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 um, people find their own thing and they, you know, they, they have their own thing they're doing. And I'm, and that's what I want to do is my own thing too. And, uh, I don't know if anything I've said helps you find your own thing, but the uh, important thing is, is whatever you do, you know, enjoy it at least and try to enjoy it because um, this is a gift. I'm not saying I have a gift necessarily, but I'm saying to be able to play guitar and to be able to, you know, be able to spend time doing this, man, and, and loving every second of it just about, just about. This time's at home, but, you know. I mean, it's great, man. There's people out there that all they got is a TV set and all they got is a, you know, whatever, you know. And that's fine. I watch plenty of TV myself. But I'm just saying that this is a really cool thing, man. It really is. I mean, you know, it kept me out of trouble as a youth. Um, it keeps me plugged in the world, you know, even though I'm somewhat isolated in the sense that I'm not out there like I used to be. Uh, I have people that uh, I correspond with and people submit me music and I get asked occasionally to do uh, e-sessions but um, you know I don't compete with anybody that's another thing I'm not looking to compete or you know try to come off like I know something more than you or you know I don't care about that shit I really don't care I'm serious you know uh, there's people that care about that kind of stuff and I try to avoid them, to be honest with you, man. I avoid them motherfuckers, okay? I don't want to be around them, you know? Um, because I would just... I, some of the best musicians, I'm not going to drop any names, but some of the best musicians I've ever met in my life that a lot of people have heard of were very humble people. And, um, you know, I'm not saying they were humble because they thought it was a good idea to be humble. It's just that... You know, you reach, they reach levels of career that many people don't get a chance to reach. And, you know, they sat back and it was like, wow, you know, it was a gift, you know. It's not like they didn't deserve it or nothing either. But, you know, imagine if all your dreams came true in, in a short period of time. You work your whole life to do something and in a couple of years, five years, ten years, all your dreams come true, you know. It's like a roller coaster. So, um... The important thing that I've said before, and I'll say again, is I think it's uh, important to just be able to share the love of the music. You know, I could sit here, take a D minor chord, and go to a B flat and a G minor or something, and spend hours, and that whole time I'm not out there stealing hubcaps or <laughs> chasing skirts or, you know what I mean? It's like okay. sitting here playing pseudo, you know, pseudo music that would fit in Zorro movies. <laughs> All right, man, have a nice night. Um, you know, maybe I'll try to make more videos. If people want to hear what I got to say, you know, you know, let me know. Because if not, I'll just go back to sitting there and not talking and just playing some wacky shit on my guitar. All right, have a nice night. Thank you. <clears throat>